Members, you are welcome to today's lecture. It's about result-oriented management. Yesterday, I gave notes to hard copy notes. Some of you, others haven't got, and I have instructed someone to send you soft copies. I hope anyway you did the needful. If not, you do it so that all the members get notes of result-oriented management. Now, last time we looked at a vision statement. I defined a vision. Today we are going to continue with the, with the vision and then we start mission. And I told you that an organization without a vision and a mission statement is like a vessel without a compass. It's like a, a ship without a rudder. Therefore, an organization cannot exist without a vision and a mission statement. Now, last time I, I find a, a mission, a vision, and I said it comes from the Latin word, vide, meaning see, or from a, a Greek word, visido, also meaning see. A vision, simply, is the picture of a desired feature, a powerful picture that we carry in our heads and in our hearts. Is what an organization wants to see as a result of its vision. A vision is your dream, your future picture of what you want to be. You perceive it now, but you want to achieve it in the future. And it is not where you are, but where you are going. Not where you are, but where you are going is about the end state to be achieved. Other scholars compare vision with the promised land, the land of Canaan, for the suffering Israelites. The Israelites were suffering, but they had hopes that their suffering would come to an end and they would occupy Canaan, the promised land of milk and honey. Therefore, vision is your dream. And we looked at three types of visions. I told you, we have three types of visions. Individual vision, your vision, we call it individual. What you aspire to be. For instance, if you're a student at AU, what is your vision? What do you want to be? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a lawyer? Do you want to be an engineer? That is your individual vision. Then we have societal vision. A societal vision is a vision for the whole society. What kind of society do you want? Then we have group vision. I mean, organizational vision. That is for what organization wants to be perceived by others, what it wants to be. Then we looked at uh, examples of vision statements. And I've said the vision is a picture, a, 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 a judged picture what you perceive now, but you want to achieve in the future. It is not what you are doing now, but what you want to do. It is not what an organization is doing, but what it is perceiving and it wants to achieve in the future. That's why it is always stated in the future terms. To be, to become, for instance, the vision of UCU to be the light of the world. The vision of AU is to be a leading community oriented center of learning and research. To be, meaning it is a picture of a desired future. It is stated in the future terms, can be achieved even after 50 years, as we shall see now, that the vision should be challenging. Challenging means that a vision statement should take an organization time to achieve. Let us proceed. Let us look at
We are going. I've given you examples of visual statements. We are going. Yeah. I've given you examples of visual statements. The well of the community to be a leading community center of learning and research. Well of the community center of learning and research. Then uh, we have then, uh, to be the light of the world. We have to be the light of the world. Let us proceed. <clears throat> we, we shall look at the other examples, self-reliant communities regardless of status, to have to be a world-class management development institute, meaning these are some examples of visions and these visions belong to certain organizations, but these visions are stated in future tense, future tense, meaning that a vision statement should be stated in future tense. It is what an organization perceives now, but will accomplish in the future. It can even take 50 years before you have accomplished it, even 100 years. Let us look at uh, features or characteristics of, of vision statements, features or characteristics of vision statements. The first one. A vision statement should be inspiring. That's why when you are stating a vision statement, it should inspire. Like now a vision statement, which reads thus, to be the right of the world, it inspires. Employees work towards achieving that vision because everyone wants to be the right. A, a good vision statement should be inspiring. Another one, it should be able to uplift aspirations and then unleash potential so that it, it even motivates uh, employees in order to be able to, to come out with their potential and be able to work hard. It should be realistic. In fact, a good vision should be realistic. We normally say should be smart. Smart is cap is capital S capital M capital A capital R capital T. Smart is an acronym transmitted translated to me. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. What do we mean? Realistic meaning it should be it should be able to be achieved. When you are setting a vision statement, you set a vision statement which can be able to be achieved by an organization, not the one which is ambitious and is very hard to achieve. A good vision statement should be easily understood. It should be precise and concise. You need even to catch the words, not too long, too short, but enough, but with enough content. Someone said, should be like a miniskirt, short but long enough to cover the subject matter. Let us proceed. A good vision statement should be ambiguous and challenging. I've already said ambiguous and challenging. It, sh it should be challenging. You don't set a vision statement and after one week you achieve it, that one will be a bad vision statement. Should take an organization a good time to achieve it. Then it should be transforming a good st a vision statement should help an organization to move from one point to another. It, it should also be appropriate for the moment. Now, having looked at the features of a good vision statement, then now someone wonders, what is a, a mission statement? We have two concepts, vision and mission. And I've said a, 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 a vision,